dementia residents can often gain in cardiovascular fitness, especially if their room is at the end of the 50 metre corridor, that's quite a lot of distance to have to go manoeuvre in a day, five times there and back to the bathroom, to bed or whatever, compared to at home, where it's often only 10 metres to and from the toilet. That's a very big distance, 50 metres five times a day compared to 10 metres five times a day. So because of this extra distance being negotiated, manoeuvred and walked along by dementia residents, they gain that fitness. That's an advantage, but that doesn't mean that their balance reactions have improved with that. And that's the important thing to remember. So if dementia residents and dementia units are walking to and from their room often in the day, and also circuiting the corridors, which many do, sometimes up to 20 times a day, well, that's a lot of fitness that they're gaining uh, in that degree. Now, these fitter dementia residents, when they go out walking, they can actually walk up to one, two, three, even five kilometres. Some dementia residents who have escaped from the unit, when I was working at one of the facilities, there was one dementia resident and she was very strong and fit and was very clever at being able to exit unbeknown to others. Yeah, she just had all sorts of ways of being able to do this. She she really looked the part. She looked like a, a well-dressed relative and so people didn't realise she was a dementia resident so she'd be let out. And she'd often end up at the local uh, shopping mall which was five kilometres away. So she had tremendous amount of strength and had fitness and strength and had somehow retained her balance reactions because she didn't fall but she did get to the you know destination of five kilometers away she was picked up by police and brought back but often what does happen is that an equally fit dementia resident may be taken home for example there was one man who was very fit very strong uh, capable physically with all his fitness and it, you couldn't notice you wouldn't notice that his balance reactions were off kilter because you can't tell in a dementia unit, it's all flat. So there's no reason, there's no way of being able to gauge whether their balance reactions have diminished or not, because you can't see them go up and down steps or stairs or slopes, which is where you can actually assess what level the, uh, the balance reactions have diminished to. So this man went home overnight for an overnight stay which is always a nice thing but unfortunately what happened was that he had a fall now his partner didn't realize that his balance reactions had diminished he was still as fit as he was before he went into the unit just three months before but she didn't realize his balance reactions were had deteriorated to such an extent that he needed her to be by her side or for someone to be by his side when he was walking around the house. So he had a fall. And so that was a lesson to her. Now, that's why it's important to think these things through in advance, to make sure that really for someone being taken out from a dementia unit, they really do need that one-on-one -on -one support arm and arm support when walking, hand through the upper arm, and when at home, just to be by their side is the best way, wherever they're walking to. Um, of course, overnight stays are a much more complicated. I've done another video on that, and we won't go into that here, but if it's just for half a day or a few hours, whenever, whenever the person wishes to walk around or you know go into another room or go to the bathroom or whatever, just accompany them is the best way because uh, chances are their balance reactions won't be as good as they were. Um, you can improve the balance reactions, of course, with steps and stairs training, which I've just gone into in the other video. But just being aware really of the main point that their fitness may be fine. It may have even improved being in a dementia unit if they're walking a lot but that doesn't mean that their balance reactions are fine. So you need to just be by their side uh, constantly, really, 
to be able to catch them if needed and help them if they lose their balance. So I've written about all these topics in both books, The Resident's Voice and The Resident's Rise especially in the epilogues of the second book I've written on, this Balance Reaction, Strength and Fitness. These books are on Amazon and my website, pietervalentine.com. So thank you for your viewing and your likes, and please subscribe. Thank you.